Hey guys, John Rettinger here. Mobile distribution of applications has really been a cash cow and really became mainstream with the introduction of the App Store for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And since Apple released that and made it public and let people start developing applications for it, other cell phone vendors have sort of jumped into the fray and this is a demonstration of Blackberry's App World, which is essentially their answer to the App Store. So I'm going to give you a demonstration, and this will run on any OS 4.2 or higher. So if you have a new BlackBerry, like a Bold, or the new Curve, or the Storm, no problem, you can get this nice and easily. If you're running an older device, make sure you've upgraded to a 4.2 or higher, and you can download the BlackBerry App World. It's not going to come on, on during a firmware upgrade. You actually have to go to a website and download it. And I'll put a link in the sidebar so where you have to go on your device to download this application. So let's turn on the Storm here. Here we there, there it is right there, BlackBerry App World. Now one thing I should mention is that while the App Store for the iPhone is tied to your iTunes account, the BlackBerry App World is tied to a PayPal account. So you're gonna have to have a PayPal account if you wanna purchase any applications, although there are a ton of free apps. So let me show you what this looks like. This is essentially your home screen, and you can scroll through some featured apps, and we're just on an eVideo connection here. And it's broken up by four icons across the bottom. The first one, categories, second one your top downloads, it's finally a search, and then my world which lists all your downloaded applications. So let's show you how this works. Let's start with categories. It's broken up by entertainment, games, maps, navigation. I'll let you guys read those. You can see it as we kind of go through here. But there are a lot of applications, um, quite a few. And there are some very good games and a lot of the applications that you may have seen your friends play on an iPhone or a Windows mobile device. So you'll be able to find here, it really is a very full feature app store and is growing every day. Let's go back and let me walk you through the rest of it. Here you've got your top downloads. So I'll tell you what most of the people in the world are downloading, if there's a hot new game or a cool new app. So Pandora is obviously a big one. Slacker Radio, AP News. And this is just over EVDO, so it can be a little bit slow, it's not Wi-Fi. But you can see what is there. And let's say there's one that you're interested in downloading. Let's go back up to the top. People love Pandora, so let's click on Pandora. And I'll show you what it looks like when you click on an application. So you get the option to download it, reviews, recommend it, get screenshots, and there's a little bit of an explanation below it. Pandora is a radio that's personalized just for you. And you have a few icons across the bottom here too. You can download it, you can recommend it to a friend, you can read or write a review. And actually, you can only read reviews. You can write a review after you've downloaded the application. Let's actually go through and show you what that review screen looks like because I always read reviews before I buy an app. I just want you guys to get a sense of what this looks like. You can see the number of stars. Love this app. This is great, amazing. You can go through and read all of those. So we'll go back. And let's say that you want to download Pandora. So let's go ahead and hit download. And I'll show you what that looks like as well. So you can see that it's downloading. It's actually still pretty quick over this EVDO network. And I want you guys to really see a live time of how long it would take to download an app. Oh, this is a very light, non-large application. Small would probably be a better way to describe it. So there you are, it is downloaded, and as soon as we exit out of here, I'll show you where it is. Now it's installing. And in just a moment, we will be all done with the installation process. All right, Pandora was installed successfully. OK or run. We'll just go ahead and hit OK, and let's go back to the store. So like I said, you can view reviews, you can recommend it, or you can check out some screenshots from the application itself. So one thing that I mentioned earlier that I should definitely keep in mind, and you should definitely keep in mind as well, is this is tied to a PayPal account. So you are going to have to go to paypal.com and set up an account if you don't already have one. If you're younger and you don't have access to a bank account or credit card or debit card that you can charge to the PayPal, you're definitely going to need your parents to help you out. This isn't just as easy as putting in your iTunes information. It's definitely something to keep in mind. And really there are a ton of applications, a lot for free and a lot that can cost as much as $500 on here, uh, which is interesting. Some of the applications in the BlackBerry app world are actually more expensive than you would find in other app stores like Apple's App Store or even Nokia's Ovi Store. So let me show you what the application looks like and where it goes when you download it. So I'll exit out of here. 
So I moved the app world into the home screen. Otherwise, when you download it, it'll show up in your downloads folder, which is now where all the games are. So we can go ahead and there's Pandora. Go ahead and just open it up. And there you go. Don't show this again. Continue. Now I am demoing this on the Storm, which is a touchscreen, but this is also just as easy to use on a non-touchscreen device. So let me show you. Here is the BlackBerry Curve 8900, and I've got the BlackBerry App Store here up and running. And the navigation is just the same. You just have to use a scroll ball instead of your finger. Nice and simple. And this is a running over an edge network, so this might be a little bit slower than what we saw before, but not bad. So we can go ahead and check out some games. Arcade in action. I used to love the old arcade games when I was a kid. And here we go, even just over edge. Man, the Oregon Trail. That was one of my favorite computer games for the old Apple. And we can go through and see things are just the same as they were on the Storm, albeit on a smaller non-touchscreen screen. But still very easy to use. I actually really liked playing around with BlackBerry App World. There's a lot of cool things in there that I can't find in the Apple App Store, maybe because of restrictions or maybe this is easier to develop for, I'm not sure. But if you have a BlackBerry, don't feel left out. You can get apps and this is a great way to do it to get it on your device. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash john4lakers. And what is your experience with the BlackBerry app world? Have you enjoyed it? Do you think it compares to the other application stores out there on other mobile platforms? Are you using it? Do you have any intention of using it? You know, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.